a popular New Year's resolution is to get fit. Not only is it great for your overall health, but of course it makes you feel better too. And I'm so glad we have brought in one of our favorite fitness experts to start this new year <laughs> off on the right foot. Laurent Amzalog, owner of Flex Pods and Fitness Dynamo, is here with us on Great Day Watching It and you made it to on the couch. The sofa. <laughs> on the sofa. I've never been on the sofa <laughs> ever before. We're always in that corner. I made it. Normally you are putting us yeah. through a very extensive workout, exactly, right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But today we're going to do something a little different. Today we're okay. going to talk about New Year's resolutions and how to stick yeah. with them. Right, getting well, us in the yeah. right mindset for all of this. Because mm -hmm. we all, it's like January 1, yeah. okay, we're going to get fit, we're going to eat better. Right. I feel like everybody just kind of yeah. throws everything out there. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, you know, January 1st is always that official kind of new beginning yeah. date, yeah. right? That right. fresh start effect. Uh, and like you said, you know, by February, all those you <laughs> know, <laughs> resolutions go up. Yeah. But I got the secret right here okay. that okay. I'm going to share it with you. How so the first thing that we have to do is create a habit. You know, we have mm -hmm. to realize that creating a habit is very difficult. It could take between 18 to 254 days to create a habit and 66 mm -hmm. days to cement a habit doing it over and over again. And you know what's the problem? It's this, the mind. Uh -huh. You have to fight the brain because the brain doesn't yeah. like to create new habits. It loves mm -hmm. old habits, mm -hmm. you know, like brushing your teeth, how you drive to work. You don't even have to think about those things. These are yeah. easy. It's a different part of the brain. But creating a new habit, you, you require the brain to work harder and doesn't like it. So it's okay to fail once, twice, 10 times, 100 times. As long as you get back on the saddle, as long as you stay consistent, right. that's how you're going to create that Figure habit. Figure out what's working, what's causing that fail maybe, or just mm -hmm. maybe tweak it a little bit. Exactly. And then okay. jump back into it. And that's how you're going you're gonna to create that habit. Okay, your brain yeah. is going to be your worst enemy at first, but your mm -hmm. best friend after that, you know? Once, once it is part of once what you do. Once it's yeah. a habit. Yeah. Second tip is think small. You know, we always, you know, January, come January, we, we want to change everything. We want to work out six days a week. We want to, you know, eat, <laughs> eat healthy. Clean. We want to, yeah. you know, sleep yeah. at nine o'clock at night. You know, we have all those big dreams, which are great, but are they sustainable, like, you know, to change mm -hmm. them all at once? And that's why people kind of, like, you know, start, like, losing, off, losing, like, you know, yeah. uh, motivation and things like that. I say yeah. think small. Think about the yeah. smallest little thing that that is so ridiculously easy that you have no choice by doing it right maybe yeah. it's an extra glass of water maybe it's an extra stretch sitting down at, at your sofa maybe it's like you know sleeping 10 minutes earlier or just changing one breakfast a week mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. something small that's what's gonna rewire your mindset and kind of get you to snowball into start bigger snowball into bigger change exactly start the momentum yeah. you know so start with that small little thing that will snowball into bigger bigger changes okay, okay. we got about 30 yeah. seconds what you oh, got for us then the have a have a do it with a friend that you know always mm -hmm. helps. we just always. said this in the office Laurent. we're gonna always. do it together this year i've got 10 pounds left <laughs> on me from that you know pregnancy. studies after studies prove that you know when you have a gym buddy it doubles your chances of yeah. success mm. you know couples that sweat together stick together you know uh, mm -hmm. Couples that do it together only have a 6% dropout rate compared to 43% when they do it wow. on their own. There's a yeah. true power to, you know, doing it with a group. Have a coworker, a friend, you know, uh, yeah. somebody you work with, maybe a family partner. member, somebody that's waiting for you at 6 o'clock in the morning at the gym. You <laughs> know you're going to go, uh, <laughs> if, you know, rather than doing it alone with a snooze button, it's going to feel so much better. Or know that we're about yeah. to go meet Laurent, so yes. you're going to work oh, call me. Call, call me. I'll meet you. There you go. <laughs> Great tip. So good to Happy see you. Happy New Year. Always a pleasure. Happy New Year. He'll be back to help us out with these mm -hmm. resolutions, but be sure to check out Laurent on Instagram at Laurent Omzalog and visit flexpodstudios.com. Thank you so much. Thank mm -hmm. you for having me. I appreciate it.